being lightened up green juice. Green juice is green, so it must be nutritious, right? Not necessarily. So yes, most green juices are filled with leafy greens, but they can also be filled with sugar. Some even have as much sugar as a soda. But if there's anything I want you to take from this Lighten Up series, it's that whatever kind of juice you drink is okay. All right, no one has the time, energy, resources, knowledge, willpower, whatever, to be perfect all the time. There's no such thing. And actually, we don't need to be perfect to be healthy. We learn as we go, we do the best we can, and that's our journey, and it's okay. So if you're buying a store-bought juice with added sugar, it's fine, right? Lighten up on the judgments and be compassionate with yourself. If you do decide that you wanna make your own green juice, no juicer required, I've got you covered. And don't forget, before I show you that recipe, to subscribe, like, hit the bell, so that you can be notified of new videos all month long. Before we get started, I wanna warn you that this recipe made a lot of green juice. So make sure you've got a big enough blender or you can cut the recipe in half. I use my big Vitamix today, but any big blender will work. So into your blender, add spinach and kale or whatever greens you want, chopped apples, celery, cucumber, parsley, ginger, lime, juice, and water. Blend it up. You wanna let it go long enough to get all of the ingredients really broken up and integrated and smooth. You can also use less water if you prefer a stronger juice with a more concentrated flavor. And you can really add any ingredients you want or leave out whatever you don't like, but just be mindful that adding non-green ingredients will affect the color. Once your ingredients are blended, it's time to strain your juice. So I used a nut milk bag and I placed that into a large measuring bowl and poured the juice mixture in through the nut milk bag, but a fine mesh strainer would work. You just might end up with a little bit more pulp if it's not as fine as a nut milk bag. Allow it to run completely through the bag and don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and squeeze the bag to get out every ounce of the juice. You can discard the pulp or you can save it for smoothies. There's still nutrition in there. Now all that's left to do is serve and enjoy. And I have to be honest, I am not usually a fan of green juice, but this was surprisingly sweet and flavorful. The apple and ginger were really complimentary. The lime juice added such a nice freshness. I preferred it to lemon, uh, and it didn't taste bitter at all. A lot of people worry that green juice doesn't have nutrition without the pulp of the fruit, but it actually does have nutrition. What it doesn't have is the fiber. Now that said, I don't know that I prefer a green juice to a regular old green smoothie where you still get that fiber, but you do you. So I have linked this recipe and others like it below, as well as many green smoothies. And that is it for this recipe. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you on Thursday with a brand new Lighten Up episode. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.